Hi everyone, this is Sarwis Gaming and welcome to Resource Build Guide from Update 3.8. Hi there, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you're kept up to date on all the latest Tap Titan 2 news. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, this information is compatible from the recent update of 3.8. For the latest information on build guides, visit the Tap Titan 2 Compadim website. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Now in this video, I'll be going through MMLH's skill tree optimizers and show you how to use it. This is a fantastic tool. This is what the majority of the build masters use to make their own builds and examples on the Tap Titan 2 Compadium. So I'll show you how to use it, how to make your own build and the benefits from it. I'll also show you how to use the Pet Optimizer and the Artifact Optimizer. So the two other main tools to help you progress uh, for the best builds you can and progress faster in the game. Now just a bit credit to all these people, big credit to all the Tap Titan 2 Compadium helpers. Uh, just to let you know, I'm not affiliate, affiliated with the application mentioned on the website. So all intellectual properties, trademark logos, images, soundtracks, promotional articles or copyright materials that are on the website are properties of respective developers. So for the latest update on any of the information or build guides, visit the company and website. If you, also, if you wish to support and donate for the creators of this website on the, and for the builds, then click on the link below. So you're just going to Google and type in Tap Titans 2 Compadium and click on the Compadium link or you can click on the link in the description below. You're introduced to this home page. Now I would recommend to read through all the information descriptions uh, for any updates. So also go to the credits and for the change log. So just to double check with the latest updates and changes so you're kept up to date. Now, just a big thank you for credits to all these people for all their help. As I mentioned before, if you wish to uh, contribute or help, they do have the Patreon and donations on their links. So for the first section, if you want to check out some pre-build examples, go to the build section. So the four main builds are pet builds, clan ship builds, shadow clone builds and heavily strike build. There is no longer a, a silent march build because that's become a passive skill that's been taken out. Uh, in exchange for that, we've got updated rogue, uh, rogue skills, which are implemented into the builds. And as I mentioned before, check the build change log information first and all the bottom information when using the builds. So you know you're using the right information. I'll just give you an example. When you click on each build, uh, so for example, Taco's got beginner's pet build here and fairy build. And you can also look at clan ship builds done by Taco and Rota R's and heavily strike build is done by taco as well and sh lastly shadow clone is done by dreams and tito's as well example when you do click on each link read these beginning sections on how to use it and there's also links to reddit pages and how to use and how to play the build so if you click on it or go to a reddit page it gives you more information as well the reason i suggest reading for all this information first with each update the build and information changes all the time. So this website is kept up to date quite regularly. So it's good to check this first, then, then to Google some other information or watch old videos. That's how to use and read the existing builds that are already available on the website. So as I said before, check these out first if you want to use one of the build creator's own builds. If you want to make your own and customize it to make it more specific for your own needs, then go to the optimizer section. There's a great tool which is created by MMLH, which is called the Script Skill Tree Optimizer. It is a Google Sheet. So if you click on it, it will open up a new tab on a Google document. You can do it on your mobile phone or on a desktop. And when you do open it, the first thing you need to do is go to File and Make a Copy. So you need to make a copy before you can edit the version. There's two ways to do it. You can either go options menu, share, export, make a copy on mobile, or if it's on PC, just click file, make a copy like I've just done. So once you've made a copy, you don't need the old ones, you can get rid of that. If you're struggling on how to use it, there is a lot of instructions on how to use it in the first tab. Uh, so take time reading it through. If you don't quite understand it or understand the use, then I'll show you how to use it now. Uh, so basically a simple tutorial on how to use it. First section tab is your stats input tab. So this is where you use your stats on your mobile or for your current build to fill this information in. Basically you need to fill in all of it. I'll go through each one step by step. So the first one is your build. So you click on 
which build type you're using. For example, I'm using Heavenly Strike. Then you choose your main gold source. So this is Fairy, Pet, Heart of Midas, Boss, or Chesterton. Uh, the most two common ones is Fairy or Pet, Heart of Midas. So if you're not too sure, if you're using a pre-build, you use their, their example, or I'll just use Fairy. Uh, add in your total skill points. All right, so add in total skill points. You can find how many skill points you've got by going to your skill tree and it's at the top. So I've got two, three, six, nine. So just type in how many you have. It says ignore if not enough skill point in tree. So what this means, ignore if not enough skill points, it basically means the optimizer won't suggest skills you didn't unlock yet. So by spending skill points in the tree, so when yes is selected, so just keep it yes, that's what I normally do. Ignore duration cooldown. So it just basically det determines whether the cooldown is whether cooldown is used to uh, calculate efficiency i just leave no as default so cum cumulative efficiency mode shows efficiency from zero that's current level so instead of current level the next level it lists sh it lists still shows efficiency per level so check it if some skills stand out on particular i tend to just leave most of them in default so downgrade mode means that's just um the reverse of the efficiency so it's just shows a minus efficiency yeah it also shows any like if some skills stand out in particular in reverse uh, again i wouldn't bother about efficiency and downgrade mode because that's only if you really get into the, the tweaks of the skills so i'll just leave them unticked and if also if you go online or offline mode so you can go online full offline or offline push to max stage i'll leave it online because you there is no real offline build anymore I uh, said so we got Silent March in passive skills, which is all leveled up anyway, and you can level some skills in Rogue, but they're going to be still weaker than any other build that you can get. So even if you're going to play once or twice a day, or maybe every other day, online build will still be much stronger than an offline build. So I'll leave it online anyway. Dark mode just changes the color of this uh, table. So as you see, it changes it to dark. Switch on if you prefer it to view in dark or switch it off to switch it in light. So that's just cosmetic. Now your strongest hero, this is selected that your strongest hero will max stage when all your skills are off. So when you've got no active skills played, then what is your strongest hero at that time of your current max stage? Then you put that. Uh, for me, I believe it's, let's have a look. I'm not at my max stage, but I can leave mine as Damon of Darkness. And Ascension, every time you get to a, a hero to level 1000, you can uh, evolve it or send it to the next level. Each time you send it, you get a different border around the edges. So the first one is, uh, the first standard one, so no Ascension is grey. Okay, so Ascension 1 is blue, Ascension 2 is green, and Ascension 3 is gold, which is the highest. An Ancient Warrior set, this is your Mythic set, so you go to your item crafting and then check you've got four completed sets, so it says active and you just tick which ones you do have. If they're blanked out, you don't have to worry about changing them, that's just due depending on builds. I think it's Clanship that they switch on due to the types they have, so look, no it's Pep, sorry it's Pep build that these affect. So it's Pep build that these switch on, but because I'm using the Heavy Strike build, it's not taken into calculation. So I take on the ones that I do have. So I do have Clockwork Set. I do have Lucky Foot Owl Mirage Artifact. And yes, it's maxed. And what that means, again, go to your artifacts. Find that artifact. Because it's a quality of life artifact, which basically means it has a maxed amount. It would be at the bottom. Here it is, Lucky Foot. So my Lucky Foot is maxed. So leave it at yes. All probability one if it's not a main slash. So go to Equipment. Go to your slash, which is the bottom one if you want to know when it refers to equipment items like the word slash it's this is sword helmet chest aura and then slash that's the name of these equipment items so slash is the last one so it's asking if it's got all, prob uh, all probability slash one if not main slash so all probability is mine is 1.112 so just slightly edit that 1.112 and if you haven't got that then it'd be just be one Critical chance is in the stats. So you go to your stat screen, which is on the heroes tab, and it's asking for critical chance, which I believe is on the near the bottom. Yeah, under probability, critical chance of mine is 92.96. Uh, cleaving level, so put in what my cleaving level is, which is under skill tree, under the night tree, and cleaving strike is this skill. So I have it at 18, 18. 
uh, it says crafting power levels you go to equipment and you go to crafting and it's at the bottom crafting power levels 20 so change that at shadow clone level this is your active skills they're asking about you put the level few your active skills the highest you can get them if they're max then you just put the max levels and tap per second this is normally 10 you can change it to how many taps you normally do the average is 10 so i'll leave that alone max kill time in seconds again just leave that at eight and anchoring shot so this is for clan ship builds if you want anchoring shot which is name normally a you add to skill builds uh, for extra pushing power you can leave out if you rather do farming but if you fancy a bit of pushing and you're doing a clan ship build then add anchoring shot now for this accuracy accuracy so it won't affect final build and total effects you can change this slightly if you want a bit more um kind of specific build and a bit more a bit more tweaking but again i'll just leave that it's not needed for my build again i think it's more clan ship and uh, pet build so once this all been inputted you go to the skill build optimizer now it's already has a pre-build loaded so what you need to do is just either click to click the skill tree on the, this bit here it's got a clear tree and if you click that button what it do it reset the skill tree back to zero and it does put sometimes a bit of skill points into certain areas and if, if that happens and you want it from total scratch just go to these areas that have got uh, points in and just put zero on them so there's a couple in there so again I'll put that to zero and then it says zero up here which means I've got the full skill points there these are the top three suggested skill points I should level for a heavy strike fairy build gold if you want you can save or use pre-existing builds in this section here so to select your existing build you select the build from the number here so for example if I wanted to use uh, let's have a look heavenly strike fairy gold mana based or siphon based skills so siphon base I'll go to 10 it says the name of the build there so I know select the right one so I want to save it erase it reset it restore it I want to restore it because I want to actually load it then you click go and what would happen give it a few seconds it will automatically upload here so it says here what it's doing there you go so it's been it's starting to load where it's loading up on the screen da, 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 da. preloading it'll keep going until it uses up all the skill points so it may take a few seconds because what it's doing it's preloading that build okay it's done so this skill build was only using 372 skill points you can see how many skill points is maxed there so from there you can carry on up to your remaining skill points got left to carry on the build so this is your like foundation example skill build and then you can just carry on or you can save your own skill build and you can do so by typing in the name of whichever build you want so for example i can put like souls heavenly strike fairy fairy build and that's number 13 and the amount of skill points i've got as a total two three six nine but what you need to do is you select that build first so i'm number 13 and then you go to save so wait for it to catch up first so you can do your editing first at the moment i haven't really done much i just put three random points in that, I'm, that, I, that it's suggesting also i don't have to use this if i think straight off the bat i definitely want uh an area assault in i can do straight in and put 10 points into area assault i can just jump that this will update accordingly and then once i've used when i've got the build that i want it to be in and i want to save it so you select make sure your build has been selected and name selected and click save and go go so what i'll do it will then save at this section down here wait it says that it's still started saving it will update the load save time there so you know it's definitely be done because it gives a timestamp and then you can add in an extra detail your max stage you reach for that so then say in a couple of days later you get a higher max stage you can then update your build to give it uh, another line to say i don't know souls heavenly strike fairy change to a different manner and at uh, this time this max stage reached and it's a nice little backlog of what you're doing and the changes you've made i would also recommend to read these hints as well it's a bit of information about a couple of little tips 
from MMRH that could help you in optimizers when, when optimizing the tree for yourself. So it says, do not use source of tree for pet help, Medassa clanship pet, for more speci uh, specifically avoid MU, LS and DS for low ish SP. And it says, don't use night tree for non pet on Medassa clanship build. Don't get cleaving strike for low ish SP that is. Get stroke of Lux and MT7 as soon as you reach MT6. And it says stuff like uh, get high ambush when you want to use many mana or shadow cone without RN set. LS doesn't really give you any power until level 3, don't get it before that. Avoid forbidden, forbidden contract and poison edge unless you're very patient. The former also requires siphon. So just a couple tits, uh, tips, especially when looking at to update the builds. I personally leave, uh, do leave forbidden contract off because I do, it is, you've got to be very good with mana and be patient with it. And I tend to use more points towards Poison Edge than Contract. You can choose to leave, if there's specific skills you definitely don't want in your build, you want to be turned off. Uh, so for me, Forbidden Contract is a turn off, then you can turn them on or off regarding what you want to do. And then once you're all done, this is a screenshot of your build. So you can take a screenshot or snip it and then send it to your clan or just as a reminder. There is a couple of tools and hints for each build. So again, I would recommend to read this section before you try out all your builds. Change log, so all the updates, what have been added, he will, MMLH does update it. I will recommend to join his Discord as well. He will post when he updates the Google Sheet. So I'll make sure that you do keep downloading or updating your Google Drive sheet to make sure you always have the latest copy because you're making a copy and you could save it to your phone or desktop. Uh, it does, it could get outdated. So make sure that you're doing his Discord or you at least save the link so that you are kept updated. And this is the build information to use in and the maps behind it, how the build works. So that's how you basically use this optimizer. So it is just a simple case of when you're clearing the tree, if you want to start from scratch, either using your existing builds down here or starting from scratch once you've selected which build type you want and it's just kicking the top three and then tweaking it till you used up all your skill points and then optimizing it, trying it out. If it doesn't work, then maybe reducing some skill points and say um, gold and then putting more in anchoring shot if you want to be pushing or maybe try and forbidden contract instead of poison edge if you want to go that method so just tweak and try so if you don't want to use the optimizer and you want to use pre-builds go to the Compton website and then check out these pre-builds done by the community now the next section once you've built your own build or using a pre-build template then you want to use an artifact optimizer. So the best thing about this artifact optimizer, which is done by Cookie Monster and MMLH, this tool here, again, I will send a link in the description to use this. So first click on the instructions, it tells you how to use it. So you can go to the old instructions or you can go to MLH support server, which is Discord server, again, I'll link below. All you need to do is fill in this blue section and it'll give you the ideal percentages that you should be leveling your artifacts, which is fantastic. So it gives you a kind of indication at what levels they should be at to have the most optimal build and artifact build so you can play the game most, hopefully you can push quite a lot faster and level faster. So I'll quickly show you how to use this artifact optimizer and then lastly i'll show you how to use the pet optimizer so i'll try to fill it on the screen there so to use the optimizer first put in your total relics to find your total relics go to the hero tabs stats and go right to the bottom and the bottom it will say relics earned so this is the your career stats so it's the total relics you've earned since you've played the game so you type that in now, if you're doing scientific notation, you just type in like it like it is as standard. But if you're still using letters, then click on the letter notation at the bottom and it'll change it to letter format. So artifacts owned. Now there's 95 artifacts in the game, but this is also including enchantments. So at the moment, the total amount, 106 we currently got at the moment. So it's 95 discovered artifacts plus 11 enchanted, so it's 106. Then you put in the build type. So heavy strike, clan ship, shadow clone or pet. I'm using heavy strike. Now there's the latest hero. This is your latest hero. This is the strongest hero you can do. 
um, without your skills, your active skills activated. So you put whichever one you have. And then it's the ascension level. So zero is gray, greens, then it's green, and then it's blue, and then it's gold being the strongest. Gold source. So if it's a pet heart das, fairy, chestion, or so I'm using fairy build. Uh, percentage of relics to BOS. You can I change that to your BOS level? So it's what you what you want your BOS level to be at, or the percentage of relics to BOS. Not what you currently have, but what you want to achieve. So I'm at 69.23, and if I want to achieve 80%, I'll put that in there, and then it's asking. The reason I'm asking that is so that when you read level, it will tell you what ideal level you need to be at for it to be at 80%. So it will still keep suggesting to put relics into that mount. If you put in your current BOS level, so for example, my current lifetime value, uh, percentage of lifetime relics amount is 69.23. So if I put the exact same amount, 6923, it should have the same ideal level. So the suggestion level should be the same as what you currently have. So basically you won't level up your BOS. So I normally keep it around about 80%, relatively high. And it's up to you which percentage you want to put. The percentage of relics not spent on BS are used. So it's asking if you're not leveling your BOS, what percentage you want to put for the rest of the artifacts. Uh, so for example, I want to put 100% because if I'm not leveling up BOS, level up on BOS, I want to put the rest of it into artifacts. So estimate AD is estimating the best artifact damage. And if you want Durendal pushing, which is uh, normally the help push through walls, and if you want rounding on digits. So for estimated artifact damage and Drendal pushing, I normally leave it on because yes, I want to push more. And with artifact damage, I want the best artifact damage for all my artifacts. So yes, I'll leave that on. So against rounding, if you want it on one digit, so it says there, that it just changed in a second to show what I mean. So it just shortens the value of what you see it. I would keep it at three because that's the same format as what it is in game if you've got in scientific uh, scientific notation and then it's just a simple case of just matching it so you load up your artifacts and it will tell you so it says ideal level here it should be e plus 40 uh, for my charge card and I've got e.39 so it's telling me I need to level up that more uh, then the next one stone of value stone of foul runes it should be e40 it is e40 it's a little bit low because it'd be, it should be 5.91 but it's pretty much the same. I'll mainly concentrate on the on the numbers past E bit and try to get them to match. So again, you just go through the list and you click on, you spend your relics so you can spend it to 1% or 5% so you, so you can fine tune it. But basically get all your artifacts to the uh, list here. If you haven't got all nine to five artifacts, switch off the ones you haven't got. So just go down the whole list. You probably notice it hasn't got all the artifacts on there. The reason it hasn't got all of them listed here is because the quality of life artifacts at the bottom can have max levels. So you can only level up to say 40. Oh, I think so. I think most of them are level 40. Those won't be included because they have a max level to achieve, which is 40. So there's no point in leveling them up further or to add them to equation. So just that's why there's, there's not a full list of 95. Now, the last tool I recommend they should definitely check out is the pet optimizer so again you can go to tools core optimizers or tools corner and it is here it's pet optimizer and you click on instructions to tell you how to use it but basically it says the best pet is your damage and best switch pet is your gold so same before very easy to use all you put in is your heavy strike build what type of build is what type of information and if you've got if you own a photo samurai set or corrupted emerald knight set and you can check it in the crafting tab and hit crafting and then your heart of levels heart of storm levels apollo orb level and crafting level update all that information again if you want drendal push i always put yes because i like to push a bit more and let notation then once you've done that you've just got to go to your pet tab and enter all the pet levels it's a bit time consuming but it's well worth it once it's all done it's automatically updates or you can click on automatic or manual and it will tell you the best pet and the best switch pet to use for that build. Uh, the As I mentioned before, best pet is damage and best switch pet is gold. So you could use your, when you're farming, to use the best switch pet. And then when you get into your max stage, switch to your best pet to give you an extra push. 
So these are the three main tools, the MOH skill tree optimizer to make your own build or use a Combodian website to use pre-builds and hits and hints and tips. And then there's the artifact optimizer and the pet optimizer to help with your build become the best push or the best growth that you can be. I hope these tools have been helpful for you. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. Again, you can drop by uh, MIH's Discord or my Discord if you've got any questions on them as well. well. I hope you have a great day and speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.